Hey guys, my name is Brittany and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we are going to be talking about the Bare Necessities palette from Colourpop. I did some swatches for you and I also have a tutorial on how you get this eye look, but first I just wanted to give you my thoughts on the palette. For $35, you get 30 different colors in a palette. It's one of their biggest, most expensive palettes that ColourPop has. But for that price, the quality that you get and the amount of shadows that you have is amazing. Not only is this a great nude palette, but it also has some really pretty colors in here that you can create colorful looks with. You have your metallics, your regular mattes, and your glitter mattes in this palette. I know that they did not put their glitter formula in here um, that they usually use in their palettes. And a lot of people were really happy because the glitters that are in here with the glitter mattes are eye safe. So this palette is well used as you can see, but you do have your usual lighter matte colors here for transition shades and then you can see those gorgeous metallics glowing in the light but then you also have some really bright colors like your purples your pinks your reds your orange bronzy colors golds and then you have your dark colors here to create a smoky eye look because of the versatility of this palette it definitely has become one of my favorite palettes that I've ever owned and I've had high-end palettes to inexpensive palettes and cheap palettes that did not work out for me at all so for the price of this is amazing this actually beat out one of my favorite palettes that is more expensive so um I'm gonna jump right into these swatches to let you see how buttery and creamy the metallics are and how easy these colors glide on. And then I'll show you a tutorial of how I got this look. So stay tuned for that. So walking you through step by step, I am going to start off with a nice transition shade. I start off by mixing the colors Banter and Hot Gossip. Banter is going to be that cool tone brown that is great for adding like a wash of color onto your skin. And Hot Gossip is more of that warm tone brown. And for this particular eye look, I wanted it to remain neutral. So mixing those colors together kind of cancels out that cool or warm tones. So I am starting on the outer third of my eye. I'm packing on the color a little bit and then I am pulling it towards the inner corner using small circular motions. By doing this, I am creating the shape that I want without a lot of fallout. I'm blending out the color and then each time I'm going back and forth, I'm pulling that color up towards my brow bone. Once I'm happy with this shape, I dip into Velveteen. Velveteen is more of a darker brown color and I'm adding it to that outer third portion and using the same small circular motions and pulling it towards my inner corner.
going back and forth on that color is definitely going to help blend it out. I want to make sure that I do have dark on the outside and lighter towards the inner corner, but I don't want a visible line of where I put down that color. Velveteen is very powdery, so if you are starting with a base like I am here, I definitely suggest that you tap off your brush so you don't get that fallout that I'm starting to have right up under my eye. So the next step is for you to add something, some type of base to your lid before we start packing on that glitter. Today I'm using the NYX Glitter Glue. I find that this is a really good base. It just helps my eyelids stay tacky so that way the glitter sticks to it all day long. And I'm just gently rubbing over my eyelid with my finger to ensure that it is becoming tacky and not super wet. If you go in with adding color when it's not dried a little bit, it won't do the same thing or have the same effect with your eyeshadow. I am tapping into the stiletto color in the palette. This is like a beautiful gray brown color with flecks of glitter in it. It is one of their glitter mattes. I do really love this color. However, I wish it was packed with more glitter than what it has. So I am going in with my finger and I'm just packing on as much color as I can. Doing the stamping motion and pulling it out is going to help me create that eye shape that I want. And it's also going to help the glitter to stick because that was the point of putting on that base. So as you can see, I'm just continuing to take my time and really stamp on that color. And then I'm pulling it out to make sure that it's getting all on that glitter glue and that is creating the shape that I want. You have to take your time with looks like this because it's not going to be perfect and it's going to look messy. As you can see, I'm starting to get more and more fallout but it's okay because you can clean it up, but just making sure that you get on as much color as possible is super important. Here I'm taking a powder brush and I'm just gonna wipe off gently the color that I have down. I don't push on that brush hard because if you do, it will blend that darker color into your foundation and we wanna stay away from that. Next, I am taking a flat shader brush and I'm just going over the color again. I already have the glitter where I want so now I'm just deepening up that color and then I'm rounding out the shape on the top. If I go back in and do this after I've stamped on the color it just helps to clean it up a little bit and then form the perfect shape for me. Once I have the lid done the way that I want, I'm going back into the palette and I am dipping into Idol Hour. I put the color first in the inner corner because that's where I want the lightest color to be. And then I am blending that up just to bring the entire eye look together. I like everything to be connected as a personal preference and I just think that it looks more blended that way. And then I am going in with that same flat shader brush and I dipped back into velveteen to bring it all the way down. I'm going right up under my eye and stamping on that color to pull the eye to make a more rounded shape. I love how this looks and how small my eyes are. If I went in with like a black eyeliner or something, it would make my eyes look completely closed off. So I do this with every single look and then I'm pulling it back up to that outer third portion of my eye and connecting the two. I want to make sure that we have that rounded shape all the way around and that everything is blended together. Okay, so now I'm taking my powder brush and I'm cleaning up that fallout area right up under my eye and I'm trying to make sure here that I'm happy with the look but that way I'm also careful because I don't want to push that color anywhere into my foundation. I'm going to take my finger and dip back into Idle Hour and add it to my inner corner again just to make a brighter pop. And I'm also going to connect it to that velveteen and pull it up as well. Here I'm trying to almost make a circle around my eye with the colors. 
I think doing this especially on that bottom area adds a little bit more dimension to your look and then I'm going back in with stiletto and I'm sorry guys I did not realize that I was using my middle finger until just now while I was editing so you'll have to excuse me but I'm just putting that back on my lid to deepen up the color. I'm going to do my mascara and eyeliner and I'll be right back. So this now completes the eyeshadow portion of the video. I think that it came out really, really good. This is one of my favorite new looks to do and I just think that it really helps the deep set eyes to pop. Thank you so much for watching and if you like this video, please comment down below, leave a like, and hit the subscribe.